We up, man. Tuning in to Savage Productions. Let's go. Myself, they call me Sablo. Kill this beat, shoot it up like Twisted Metal. It's incredible, killers will spit the metaphor. Aiming for a fitted cap and quick to let the metal blow. Uh, I'm a East Side baby. In the middle of the projects, the East Side raise me. Going crazy on the day, they say nothing could save me. But I'm a ride to the castle. Grumpy. Grumpy, Grumpy, you know Grumpy? Hey, if you see Grumpy, you know him, bro. You pass us through, tell him Sab pulled up over here. Okay, okay. Hey, if you see Grumpy, you know him, bro. You pass us through, tell him Sab pulled up over here. Okay, gracias. There's some things I gotta ask. What up, what up, what up? Mile high salute to everybody. You know who it is. Your boy Savage, a.k.a. Sev Cisnettos. You tuning in to Sev Low to Tales 2.0. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Let's get to the politic. Big shout out to everybody showing the channel love. Appreciate the love and support. Thank you for the interactions. Before I start this video, I am not promoting gang life, gang culture. Just telling the testimony, giving life experiences, shining some light on the Denver Metro. So with that being said, let's get to this video. And it comes from the comment section, my homie Allo X. Thank you for the recommended video. And he asked, what's the difference between hat banging and color banging? See, and I did a, a live on this about nowadays a lot of gangs, especially in the West Coast, from California to Colorado and different other parts of the United States, they all a lot of times these gangs ain't even banging by colors no more they're banging they're banging by sports teams a lot of sports teams especially in west coast when it comes to crips and bloods um a lot of sports teams represent hoods so you might see somebody like in california with some stiller stuff on from long beach and that's like rowing 20s right that's why a lot of people thought snoop dogg was a stiller fan because his gang that he's from the 20s rowing 20s they're stiller, that's their colors. Yellow, um, white, black, that's their colors. So it doesn't have nothing to do with them actually being fans. I know fools that, you know, out here, they'll they'll put on some New York Yankee stuff, and it doesn't mean baseball at all. My little homie, Ghost Loke, he's, you know, he has ties to the Nutty Blocks, Nutty Block Compton Crip, and he wears New York Yankee stuff all the time, and he's he, he'll never ever say he's a New York Yankee fan It's just about the representation of his hood Now, yes, organizations that got a lot of history Especially from like, you know, the West Coast, uh, California, Colorado, um, Seattle You know, um, they're always going to be tied to colors Because Crips, Bloods, even Northanios and Sudanios They're always going to be tied to colors and different things but there's people that represent their official hoods with sports teams you know rowing 60s they're gonna wear they're gonna wear new york yankee stuff they're gonna wear seattle mariners for 60 and it don't have nothing to do with the team itself and being a fan a lot of people think that crips only wear blue and that's the only color they wear. No, you got Crips that wear purple. You got Crips that wear yellow. You got Crips that wear green. If that's their specific hood color, because there's a specific hood color, that's what they're going to wear. That's the color they're going to wear. But at the same time, it will always be little youngsters that push the color banging. Um, but to 2024, a lot of fools ain't even color banging like that no more. Now, East Coast... I don't know too much about the East Coast, and it seems like they do color bang. The South still color banging, but when once you go to the West and even out here in Colorado, um, it's a lot more goes into it with gang banging than just colors. I know Crips even out here that wore red, and some people will be like, "Why would a Crip wear red?" Because to be honest, when you got status, homie, and you been doing it for so long, you're not identified as a color, homie. You're identified as who you are. People don't, like for me, people don't see a color blue rag. You know what I'm saying? They see my face and they know where I'm from, bro. I'm identified 
by, you know what I'm saying, the stamp of what I put down in the streets. And there's a lot of individuals that got that. I know bloods that wear blue. It's not even, you know, it's not how it was in the 90s. Now, the 90s, it was mostly color banging. But then again, you still had gangs, you know, even out here in Denver, Colorado, that will represent sports attire. I know Crips out here from Compton Crip, right? Have Bronco tattoos and they'll sport a Raider hat because if you if you take out the A, it spells Riders, CC Riders. And I told the homie, like, a fool that I know, I said, bro, why you sport that, that Raider stuff? He's like, I don't like the Raiders, but I'm a rider. What up, Compton? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, 2024, I got to say, like, gangs have went in all kinds of different directions, man. And like I said, hat banging versus color banging. You're, the organizations, the big organizations are always going to be attached to colors, right? But in them organization you got different tribes that wear different colors for their personal hoods and sometimes that will get a person more in trouble than the actual color and that's just how it goes you know um so you know the craziest question that i've been asked in recent years is why why do uh you know what i'm saying why why is homie wearing red like it's it's a color to people like nobody really looks at that now i'm gonna say like this and this is the funny aspect when you're like new to gang banging and there's a lot of new new there's a lot of new hoods especially in the denver metro and especially when it comes to domus and keyways and you're younger you gonna want to represent that uniform that red uniform or that that true uniform that blue uniform um and there's a lot of people out here, the younger generation, that's still going to try to push the color aspect. But they don't even know their big homies. <laughs> their big homies will be caught in different colors. And it's not really a thing for the older generation. It's not really a thing for like somebody that got stripes and has been in war. You know, they don't they don't they're not focusing in on colors. That's like something that people did in the past. You know, but that's that's the new the newer generation. It's new to them. You know, um, it's just like when you grow up, you grow up in it, and you've done it for so long, and you meet people from old, uh, old organizations. You know, at the, at my age, and people I know at my age that survive war, they can go dap up fools from opposite neighborhoods because you know you already imply them roots of who you are. You don't have to go out there and prove. There's a lot of individuals that are young, especially that I see now. It's like they'll say they're body in this organization and don't even know their bigger homies when they're around them. Their older homies is around the fools that the younger homies don't like. They're peaceful. I seen it from both sides. I seen the aspect of fools being from a war between two organizations. They hit that main line. They hit penitentiary. And when they're in the unit with these dudes, they're not warring. I seen fools break bread from different organizations. I seen some Park Hill fools break bread with the East Side in the penitentiary. I seen a Park Hill fool tattoo a East Side fool in the penitentiary because it's a different ball game. And you know, I used to look down like, bro, why would you break bread with anybody from the enemy side? Why would you break bread from anything from that side? Why would you get a tattoo? But like I said, when you have history and you conquered war and you're still here you kind of start seeing stuff at a different angle and different light so that's what it is um like i said it's always going to be colors but that's not the main aspect of banging there's a lot of representation with sports teams you got like i said crips that wear purple crips that wear yellow crips that wear green um you know you got bloods that you know, wear this, this color red, and then you got the, the Paw Rules, and people even get that mixed because a lot of Paw Rule sets ain't even bloods. They wear maroon, they wear burgundy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what it is. My high salute to everybody. I hope I answered that question. Let's go.